Hi there. Hello, mother... I'm Jeremy, and this is the Not So Berry Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations of Sims, each themed after a different color. This challenge was created by Little Simsy and Always Simming, and the official rules can be found on Little Simsy's Tumblr. We're currently on the Mint generation, and Listerina Wildberry is taking a little bit of a nap. In our last episode, Listerina gave birth to Robin Wildberry, our first Rose Gen child, so she's a little exhausted. Her fiancé, Kay Pilgrim, needs to finish reading another book for his lifetime aspirations. And so I've got him reading a book right now. Hopefully it won't take him all day. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should send Listerina into work today or not. She does have the day off because uh -oh. it's summer break, but I can still send her into work when her normal shift would start. And if I do that, I might be able to get her to have a promotion. But she also only has two days left to get married if she wants to get that inheritance uh -oh. money. Robin and Listerina are now both awake. I'm going to have her take Good care boy, of him. Young. Robin ages up from... Um, a newborn to an infant tomorrow. So I think today would be a great day for a wedding. He did it. Kay finished his book. Why don't you go take a nap while Listerina cleans out the fridge and gets herself something to eat. And then let's have her come and give some attention to toothpaste. Hopefully they'll have some good bonding time. And the baby is crying. We got a dirty diaper, Listerina. Go ahead and take care of it. Oh, she's squeamish, so she doesn't like it. Oh, we don't have a trash can up here at all. I'm gonna have to fix that. I know this one can be slotted to the changing table, but I'm gonna have to rearrange this whole room to do that. I'll just put it here in the hallway for now, and then I'll move it once I can get rid of that bassinet. Kay is up. Let's go ahead and plan a wedding event. Oh, I don't want Glenda to be the officiant anymore. Never mind. New plan. We're gonna have to go find a new officiant. What about Derek? Let's invite him to hang out at the current lot. There he is. So nice of you to come by. Where do I do this? Why are there no wedding options anywhere in the pie menu? How am I supposed to ask him to be my officiant? Okay, I think I found it. I think it's under activities. Yes, ask to be officiant at wedding. Okay, he said yes, he's gonna do it. Very good. Let's go ahead and plan our wedding event now. The wedding ceremony. The officiant is going to be Derek because screw Glenda, she's not invited. And we'll go ahead and invite all of the guests. We're not doing a wedding cake, but we are going to walk down the aisle. We're going to have a celebration feast. We're going to have toasts, exchange vows. We're going to do a spousal kiss. No wedding cake. For the dress code, I want everyone to wear green. Listerina definitely needs a wedding dress, although I love the power suit. I don't love that for her wedding. Ooh, I like this. Maybe change her hair. I like that a lot. There we go. I like that for her wedding look. I made a beachfront wedding venue in Tartosa. That's where we're going to have the wedding. Everyone is here. Okay, everyone's taking their seats. And for whatever reason, Ando decided he wanted to sit inside the wedding aisle. And now let's send the groom down the aisle. There he goes. Let's send Listerina down the aisle. She's on her way. She's tired. Look how beautiful you look, Listerina. Go ahead and exchange your vows. It's actually working. Oh, there's the rings. Oh, how beautiful with the little doves. You've satisfied the conditions to get the inheritance money. Oh my God, we got so much. And right in the middle of the wedding, Derek Pancakes thinks Listerina Wildberry is swell and wants to become best friends. Of course, Derek. Miko and Archer just showed up late together. It's giving walk of shame. They didn't get exchange vows or spousal kiss, even though they did all of that. Derek wants to move in with me. No, I don't think so, Derek. Everyone gather for the first dance. Have first dance with Kay. 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 Have your first dance already. Come the hell on. Okay, what if I reset them? Can, can you all have your first dance now? Please, I beg you, have a first dance. Thank you. And nobody's watching, of course. Okay, why don't you come to the bathroom? And Listerina, let's go ahead and call everyone to eat. Archer, you're not the groom. Why are you sitting there? Well, I guess Kay will just sit with some guests instead. All right, Listerina, why don't you go ahead and grab a chocolate-covered strawberry? And Kay, why don't you go ahead and grab some fruit punch? They're both so happy despite being exhausted. Oh, that's so sweet. Archer, why don't you give a toast? Everybody's gathering for Archer's toast. Okay, let's have Derek give a speech next. Everybody listen to Derek's speech. Beautiful speech, Derek. It's so touching. And 
attack is back there dancing very horribly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, she's hysterical. We are not doing that at a wedding. Listerina, go draw a heart in the sand. Maybe that'll help you calm down a little bit. Hey, did you like my speech, Derek is saying? Listerina's like, I loved it. Thank you. Both Listerina and Kay are super exhausted, but at least the guests are having a good time. You know, I, they're both so tired. I think let's go ahead and end and let's send them both home. So why don't we have them go ahead and uh, let's say consummate their marriage real quick and then go to sleep. First woohoo is a married couple. How exciting. Robin is fast asleep. Hopefully he'll sleep through the night. Okay, why did you get out of bed to pass out? You were in bed. You're supposed to just go to sleep in the bed after you woohoo. You're not supposed to get back out of bed to pass out. Listerina got the memo. She knew what to do. And the baby's crying, of course. Listerina got no sleep and the baby started crying. And it's Robin's birthday today. And there goes the baby crying again. Go take care of the dirty diaper. Then observe the rat. Use the bathroom. Take a shower. I know you're hungry, Kay. We'll get to that. Listerina, go take care of the baby. Derek is congratulating us on getting married. Kay is getting very hungry. Let's go ahead and have him serve up some breakfast. Kay, how's the uh, breakfast coming? You're still cutting yourself on the knife, I see. Robin is back asleep. We'll see how long that lasts. Robin does seem like a very fussy kid, so... I imagine he's not going to sleep for very long. Listerina's getting pretty hungry herself. Okay, why don't you go ahead and work on your logic for your aspiration? Oh, do you want to be cheerful? Sure. Kay is now cheerful. So is Listerina. They're both cheerful. I like that about them. They're a happily newlywed couple, and I love that for them. What does Listerina need? She needs to pull some more pranks, and she needs to increase her mischief skill. She also needs to use the toilet. Okay, you're getting there on that logic skill. Looking good. He reached logic level two, and he's getting a little stubbly. Okay, why don't you go ahead and shave your facial hair? And Listerina, why don't you work on your logic for a little bit? That is a skill she needs to max out for the challenge. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's send her to work. She's a little late, but that's okay. She's working on her day off, and hopefully she'll get that promotion today. Thank you, Toothpaste. The doctors at Sacred Spleen Memorial Hospital wish to express their gratitude to Toothpaste. This year will be remembered in medical history as the year that a fully functioning ear was grown on Toothpaste's back. Here's to you, Toothpaste. I'm not sure how that happened because Toothpaste never left. They're always here. Uh-oh, Kay's looking a little sick. Let's get him some medicine. And when Listerina gets back home from work, we will have a birthday for little baby Robin. All right, Kay, go ahead and take your medicine. What is this? A certificate? Oh, they got their marriage certificate. Well, let's put that up right here. There we go. I like that. Kay, why don't you come spend a little time with your son? You're going to be such a good dad. Why don't you try your hand at serving up some dinner? I know you're still new to cooking, but I think you can make a mac and cheese now. And Listerina's home from work. She didn't get that promotion though. She's very tired, but instead of going to bed like she's trying to do, we're going to come down here and keep Kay company while he cooks. Oh, she's sick too. Does she have any medicine? She's there you go. All better. They were both sick today. All right, go ahead and get some food. It's excellent quality. Did a good job, Kay. And after these two finish their meal, we will age up Robin. Not a birthday party. We'll have his first birthday party when he ages up to a toddler. It's time. Go ahead and go age up your baby. Okay, here we go. And Robin's first trait is that they are sunny. It says these sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social attention. I think that makes sense that the Rose Gen baby would be a very social baby. Bassinet is gone. Let's rearrange this room a little bit. We can attach that trash can to the changing table. There we go. And let's go ahead and modify Robin in Cass. And since he's the Rose Gen, he's going to be red themed. So he's going to have red eyes. He's going to have red hair. Oh, the little fire truck. I love that. He's got a little birthmark on his arm, just like his mom. This is our little baby boy, Robin Wildberry. Okay, why don't you go ahead and have tummy time with your little boy? There you go. It's okay, Robin. You'll get it. Listerina, what are you doing? Oh, you're just watching TV. But it is about time for everyone to go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and send Listerina to bed. Okay, you can finish taking care of Robin. Go ahead and feed him and then put him to bed. There you go. 
TK, why don't you pay attention to the rat real quick, and then you can go to bed too. Are you gonna go to sleep, Robin? I know you're not super tired yet, but you could do it. Mom and dad are going to sleep. You should too. There you go. And I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.